if governments decided to uh, negotiate uh, solutions to problems they have not analyzed properly and uh, jump uh, to conclusions, negotiate treaties, uh, and that in the end could then uh, precisely prevent, uh, again, what Ambassador Revere said, the, uh, uh, the fruitful further development uh, of the internet outside these narrow uh, boundaries of uh, governmental uh, interventions. So the best case scenario there, I would also agree, is to continue as it is in a multi-stakeholder context, what I like to call a soft governance approach through the sharing of experience, the sharing of best practices, the exchange of information, learning from each other how best uh, to improve uh, working with the internet on how to tackle uh, problems uh, not through treaties, but through best practices, by adopting the best possible policies. Uh, the IGF, of course, has been, as I said at the beginning, we seem to be singing from the same hymn sheet, but we have to accept that not everybody uh, seems to be do, doing so, and there are, of course, others who have different views. And the IGF has been criticized for being a talking shop for not producing what is often is called concrete results, as a UN meeting normally produces some type of agreed text, the resolution, declaration, agreed conclusions. Uh, however, uh, this usually uh, you pay a price for getting there, and uh, whenever you are in a meeting, when you uh, negotiate an agreed outcome, uh, that takes away the attention from anything else. And we focus more on the substance and uh, by not uh, having a negotiating framework, and that has been said by many commentators, it creates a different kind of atmosphere. It allows for a free dialogue. People can talk freely what they think, they can think aloud. What they say today will not be held against them tomorrow in a negotiating tank, uh, context. So. This apparent weakness is seen by many uh, as the strength of the IGF, that we don't negotiate texts. Now, uh, we're coming up in the phase uh, of renewal. According to the mandate last year, we held consultations. The consultations in uh, Sharm el-Sheikh uh, revealed that uh, a large percentage of participants, I think close to 90% uh, of people who responded online and at the meeting itself were in favor of continuing the IGF within existing parameters. That is, that does not mean that they did not propose improvements. Everybody who ever goes to a meeting knows exactly what should be done differently and could be done better. And uh, um, I think we all agree on that, whatever, every human endeavor can be improved. But uh, the basic thing, uh, the majority, this vast majority wanted was to keep it as it is, as a non-negotiating platform with no uh, agreed outcomes. There were others who wanted to uh, go a little bit further, to change these parameters somewhat, maybe to have more visible outcomes, maybe to have move towards uh, some negotiated outcomes. And then there were others who uh, said, without any major change, uh, the IGF uh, should not continue. And that's where we are now. Paradoxically, uh, all the IGF work, uh, also as a continuous improvement, learning from the past, has been done in a multi-stakeholder context. But now it goes back to governments which is fair enough. Governments decided to uh, start this experiment. Now governments want to review whether this experiment worked and decide <coughs> whether to continue or not. 